Good morning students today we are discuss on the topic habitat of living things different regions in the world have various types of living creature called as organism students to remain alive organism derive the food and other materials from the surrounding so immediate surrounding of an organism form its environment it include physical surrounding water air soil and climate see this table this table shows that some common organisms and their place to live example camel live in the desert yak in mountains crabs in sea and ants in various locations now what is habitat the region or a place where in organisms lives is termed as habitat habitat provides in organism everything it needs to survive like food shelter proper weather condition such as rainfall heat etc the habitat are grouped mainly into two types first is aquatic and the second one is terrestrial first is aquatic habitat the habitat of plants and animals that live in water are known as aquatic habitat example ponds lakes rivers ocean it could be fresh water also river or a pond or marine water also that is the sea the second one is the terrestrial habitat the plants and animals that live on land are said to be in terrestrial habitat example forest grassland desert coastal area mountain region based on the vegetation in the climatic condition temperature rainfall terrestrial habitats can be various types let's see terrestrial habitats that lives on the trees are known as arboreal animals examples are monkey tree snakes etc organisms which live on the both aquatic as well as land or terrestrial habitats are known as amphibians examples are frogs toads salamander other terrestrial habitats are rainforest temperate forest boreal forest grassland desert tundra mountain etc let's see the rainforest habitat this habitat receive a lot of rain and hence it rich in animals life the climate is very hot humid mammals amphibians and tall trees creepers grasses are found here the next is temperate forest these forests are warm and humid during the summer but cold and dry in winter in boreal forest habitat these forest grow in taiga have short summer and long winter they receive heavy rainfall trees are evergreen conical and leaves are needle like structure the next one is grassland habitat are hot dry area grasses are mainly present it's a home of herbivores and carnivorous animals next is desert desert habitat are very dry places rain water is insufficient 
about one fifth of earth land surface is a desert next is mountain habitat mountain habitat is a rocky very cold snowfall occurs in the winter followed by chilly winds now the next point is adaptation in aquatic animals and plants the aquatic animals like fish have streamlined shape and helps to move easily in water presence of slippery skills gills help in utilizing dissolved oxygen flat fins and tail helping changing the direction in water now the adaptation in aquatic plants aquatic plants means hydrophytes can be three types first one floating plants second one is submerged plant and the third one is fixed plants the next point is adaptation in terrestrial plants and animal you need the adaptation in rainforest plants and animals the leaves of the rainforest trees are very very large and have specialized tips known as drip tips these drip tips allow the rain drop to drop off from the leaves insect are numerous and showing the camouflaging feature the adaptation in the mountain region the plants and animals grow in this region show the special kinds of adaptation as the trees are usually cone shaped and the leaves are needle like shape this reducing the water in a winter the animals like yak and mink have a thick fur shape mountain goat has a long hair to keep warm now the adaptation in the desert habitat snakes rats dig the burrow to escape heat as they don't have long legs these animals come out only during the night when it is cooler the desert plants leaves are reduced to spines and lose little water through the transpiration the stems of the desert plants have wax and coating and some of the desert animals are camel kangaroo rats etc the body structure of the camel help it to survive in a desert condition camel have long legs which help to keep their bodies away from the heat to sand they secrete very small amount of urine camel lose very little water from their bodies they can live for many days without water now the next point is biotic and abiotic components both components of the habitat influence the survival of organisms biotic components are living organisms of habitat example plants animals and microorganisms non living components are the abiotic components examples are soil water air humidity then fall etc thank you and have a nice day